Right now, autonomous taxis are all the rage. Companies like Uber want them to take over our streets, and companies like Volocopter want them to take the air. But what about the water? Well, Sea Bubbles wants to make that a reality. I'm Zach, this is Zach DTV, and today we're going to talk about that. Rivers and waterways have been one of the most efficient ways to transport people and goods throughout human history. In fact, most of the major cities in the world are built on a river. It just made it easier to get goods to the people of the city. They fell out of favor as a main means of transportation once automobiles and trucks really took over. And with the interstate system, nobody really uses the river anymore except for recreation or to transport major goods further inland. And that's where the company Sea Bubbles comes in. They want to make our city's waterways useful again. Sea Bubbles was founded in January of 2016 by Alain Thibault and Anders Bringdahl. These two men bring together a lot of knowledge on anything nautical, it seems. In fact, Alain invented the Hydroptea, which is a sailboat that will hydroplane and holds a world speed record. And since the founding of this company, they have been working hard to make it a reality. In fact, in a little over a year and a half, they had their first fully functional, full-size prototype done. But what they've designed is so much more than a boat. They have a three-piece system that allows easy integration of this technology into any major city. This system consists of a dock, an app, and the bubble. So let's start right off take a look at the dock. These docks are designed to be completely independent and green as well. They will collect their energy from solar, wind, and water power. They do have onboard batteries to store the excess power and that's what they'll use to actually charge these bubbles. Of course they can be connected to the grid so that way you can sell back any excess power you have and make sure there's no interruptions in your service. But since they don't need the grid they can be used in areas with less infrastructure. And all you have to do is tow a couple docks in, put them in place, and you have this system up and running. Another neat feature of this dock is it's also going to act as a skimmer and remove garbage from the waterways while it's sitting there. So not only are these things pretty cool looking, completely environmentally friendly, but they're also going to make the area better than when they got there. For the second part of the system, let's take a look at the app. Now this is pretty standard, pretty much like any other ride hailing app. You punch in where you're coming from and where you want to go. This will map out how to get to the nearest dock, reserve a boat for you, and give you an idea of how long the trip is going to take. Of course you'll be able to make your payments through it, and I'm sure you could even make advanced reservations, like if you need one of these in the morning to get to work or something. And for the third part, probably the coolest part of this project, Let's look at the bubble itself. This boat is about the same size as a small car. In its current configuration, it has seating for five, and that does include a pilot at this time. It seems it can be found in either a convertible or a hardtop version. I don't know what kind of choices you have for that, if the convertible will drop while you're in it, or if that's something that'll only roll out on sunny days, I'm not sure. But probably the neatest part of this boat is the fact that it's a hydrofoil. Just cruising along, it, it looks like any other boat, until you reach 11 kilometers per hour. At that point, the hydrofoil starts to kick in and the boat begins to lift out of the water. They do this for a couple reasons. First off, it allows the boat to work in a no wake zone because there's less mass touching the water, there's less wake caused by the passing of the boat. It also makes it more efficient by reducing the drag on the boat and that gives you a longer battery life. And it also allows for an increase of speed. The top speed on this boat is about 46 kilometers per hour, which when you think about it, if you're zipping up a river instead of going through city traffic, is actually going to be a lot quicker than driving. Now I did say in the beginning that these were going to be autonomous boats, and that is the long-term plan. They do have production going on for version two. They also just tested the fly-by-wire controls in Geneva, and they found it was a resounding success. So at this point, these boats are ready to go autonomous. Now, of course, as with any new technology, there is going to be a little bit of regulatory hurdles to jump over. 
there is going to have to be some more testing done and this autonomous system needs to be really proven in the field. But according to Sea Bubble's website, it looks like early 2019, they plan on having these in the water. And they also say that their five year goal is to be in 50 cities worldwide. But really, for what they've accomplished in just two years, I think 2019 could be a reality. But now I wanna know what you think. Is this a viable solution for inner city travel? Is this something you would use? Let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to click that like button. And if you're new here, subscribe so you know when I put out something new. My videos are generally out Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I really try, guys. So I hope to see you here again soon. And just until next time, have fun and be safe.